flamingos. Hey, so we're still talking about power. We just finished talking about solar power and seeing how it gets used. The sun's energy gets used to create power. Now we're gonna talk about wind power. We're gonna talk about how we use wind energy to create electricity and power, yeah. Uh, this is called a turbine. A turbine is a windmill. And when the wind spins the turbine, it creates electricity. And then this, let's see if I can get a little bit closer to this bottom picture here. This is a wind farm. And you can see there are lots and lots of wind turbines on that farm to generate lots and lots of electricity for lots and lots of people and places. I wanted to read this book to you called Kate Who Tamed the Wind. And, and it'll describe a little bit more about wind. It's something we can't see, right? But we can feel it. We can feel it. And we can make electricity from it. So let's read this book, Kate Who Tamed the Wind. The author is one of my very favorite authors and an Austinite named uh, Liz Garton Scanlon and Lee White. Lee White is the illustrator. The publisher, let's see who the publisher is. Let's see. Schwartz and Wade Books. Once, there was a man living all alone in a creaky house at the tip top of a steep hill. You can see that Lee White, the illustrator, has tried to show us that the wind is blowing by showing us leaves moving and these little wisps of air. The man lived all alone in the creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill where a soft wind blew. The man lived all alone in a creaky house where the curtain swung and chime spun as a soft wind blew and blew. Look at all the clothes blowing. So you can't see wind, but you can see its effects, can't you? And blew. The wind blew until the shutters banged in the creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill. The wind blew and the shutters banged and the boards bent. The wind blew and the shutters banged and the boards bent and the table tipped and the tea spilled and the tea spilled and the bread broke on the tippy table in the creaky house at the tip top of the steep hill. And still the wind blew. The wind blew and off the birds flew. See, the wind is moving all of these things. The birds flew and the dust did too and the man cried, what to do? What to do? The wind whipped his words from the tip top of the steep hill to the itty bitty town at the bottom where a little girl called Kate heard the cry and felt it too. She wondered what on earth to do? Kate could not stop the wind, she knew, but she's drawing a plan, just like we're drawing a plan in our blueprints, isn't she? There's the man in the house, and there's the wind with the arrows. She has an arrow pointing here to these new trees. She could wheel a load of new trees to the tip top of the dusty hill in her wagon. She goes around and around and around and around that tip top of the steep hill with her wagon full of trees. And there she is handing the man back his hat that blew away, the wind blew it away. She's brought her wagon full of trees. There, Kate dug deep holes and watered muddy mounds till the trees grew. And as the trees grew, the wind blew. The trees grew and the wind blew and the time flew and the time flew as the trees grew and grew. Look at the trees growing and growing and growing and changing with the seasons. And Kate grew too. The trees grew till the leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled and the boards bounced back. Look, the man looks happy and not as wind blown, doesn't he? The trees did something, huh? The leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled and the boards bounced back and the dust died down and the dust died down and the tea stepped, steeped rather, and the birds peeped. The, 
birds peeped and the old man poured sweet tea and said, for you. Near the quiet house on the tip top of the green hill. Where a bright breeze blew. Ha. So look, what, what did the trees, they're all planted in a big circle around. What did they do? They tamed the wind. And that's why the title of this is called Kate Who Tamed the Wind. So she used trees to, to stop the wind or maybe shelter the house and the man from the wind, right? These windmills use the wind to create electricity. And we're gonna do some experiments now to see how wind can generate power and turn on a light. I'll see you in a minute. 